Hi friends, welcome to KPB Coding Hub. In the last videos, we have seen up to pattern number 10. Now in today's session, we will see how you can able to design a new pattern. So what is this new pattern here is, sir, assume I have some 10 rows are there. Okay. So 10 columns are there. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Like this, I have 10 rows are there, like 10 columns are there, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Sir, now, do you know, I want to print the value of i, okay, like this. In the lower diagonal, I am going to remove some objects. In the lower diagonal, I want to remove the objects. Like this, I want to remove, sir. Okay, like this I want to take. That means you can able to see here the diagonal elements. The diagonal elements we have to display same like this. Upper diagonal. Upper diagonal values have to be filled like this. So if you take this one as a diagonal. So upper diagonal we have to print the stars. In the lower diagonal we should not print. What is the condition if you want to print here? You can see these values i is equal to 0, j is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So here, uh, uh, sorry, you have to count from 1, 2, 3, something like this. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So here you can see the value of i and j, both are same. And if you see lower diagonal, sir, the value of i is very less when compared with j, right? You can check. Sir, if you take this 2, this 2 value or if you take this 3, is the 3 value is less than 2? No. Here it is greater than. If you want to take here stars, i must be greater than or equal to j. If you want to print stars here, i value must be less than or equal to j. Let us take this star position. Sir, it is located in second row and located in sixth column. You can see when 2 is less than or equal to sixth, we need a star. Okay. Like this we can print. So first, if you see the output, then you people are going to get clarity. So let us take this program. It is the initial program, what we have. Sir, I am running this code. You can see we got a complete stars in a square. Now I want to print in the diagonal. Sir, I am taking when i is equal to j. It is diagonal, right? Like this we are getting. Sir, here the value of i is 2. So 2, comma 1, 2, comma 2, 2, comma 3. Up to this, the value of i is less than or equal to j. But from here onwards, the value of j is greater when compared with i. Okay, j is greater when compared with i because i is 2. So here j is 3. Okay, so if you want to fill this particular, this particular upper uh, diagonal elements, then what we have to do? You need to take i value is less when compared with j. Now what will happen? These diagonal elements, upper diagonal elements values got filled or not? Yes. This is nothing but how we can able to implement a program to print this kind of a pattern. Okay. So I think you got some idea how we can able to print this star chaser. So in the remaining, uh, in the remaining sessions, we are going to discuss few more patterns like this. Okay. Thank you.